Ashley was ghosted. How did it feel, Ashley? Confusing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time it happens, I just don't get it. Tell us about Megan. What's, what did you guys do on this first date? I felt like I was really happy that I went outside of my comfort zone a lot by going out with her. Being vegan is a big part of her life. I'm very much not a vegan. She brought me to this vegan place like in the West End. And you know, I was just having like, a really rough time. And like she was just so funny to be around. And like we laughed for hours, which I really, really needed. Yeah. And I wanted it to continue, you know? Like, like, oh my God, finally, like, some chick, like, she gets me. And when I texted her that night, I got nothing, like, that night, nothing the next day. Did you text her again the next day, or you just left it the first night? No, and you know, she actually has her red receipts on, so I... Oh! oh. oh. That's that. so ice cold. Who oh. does that? Ah. Ashley's thinking, Sorry. I can't believe I did this yeah, for a vegan. Right? If you're passionate enough about what you're eating, I think that's why vegans are so passionate, yeah. is yeah. that they're passionate about sure. what they're eating. There's a reason behind why they've chosen to eat, why they, they do, and if, if you're not with that, sometimes it can be a little bit like, well, I'm not really sure I can be with somebody that's not as passionate about this as I am. Lesbian vegans are even more intense. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that from experience. They're a lot. They're a lot. They're terrifying. I mean, they're great, but they're terrifying. (laughs) I mean, she cannot be holding this, like, me eating meat thing against me this much. Like, she went out with me, right? Yes. Like, what could have changed? Yeah. And you put in the effort. Yes. Yeah. You I'll went to a vegan restaurant. Do you have, yeah. like, an I heart meat tattoo on your face? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Okay. So Ashley, here's the deal. We have you silent on the phone. We're going to call Megan and we're going to find out whether it was the veganism or whether it was the something else's. And we're going to find out why she left you on red, why you never heard back. We're just going to play one song here. We're going to get her phone ready to go, that number on the speed dial, and then we're going to do this, okay? All right, it's going to be so hard to sit here, but yeah, yeah. I got this. Yeah, yeah, it usually good. is. Yeah. yeah. Hi, is this Megan? Yeah, who's this? Megan, my name's Adam Wilde. Um... Hi, Adam Wilde. 99.9 <laughs> Virgin Radio. I'm part of Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jack. Hello. Hi. No, yeah, I'm very familiar. I'm just wondering why you're calling me. <laughs> why do you Hi. think? I, I don't know. Okay, all right, all right. It's good that you don't know, because you probably won't like the answer. Uh-huh. Oh, man. We're, we're calling about Ashley. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you left her on red, you cruel person. You're not cruel. We don't know that. What's going on here? Yeah, you guys went uh-huh. on a really great date, we heard. This is really awkward to talk about this on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> like, it sure oh is. My God. It, it is, man. Imagine okay. how we feel. Off guard. Yeah, I, 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 we, so, <laughs> so can um, you tell us what happened? We would just like to know because we believe in love. Ashley was really nice and we had a fun time. I ended up, you know, bringing her to my fa- one of my favorite spots and we got along really well. Food comes out, right? And she takes one bite and puts it down and says that she doesn't like it, which I totally get. I mean, she ordered the vegan chicken fingers, Bold. you know, which really aren't yeah. the best thing. Like, if you want a good vegan vegan experience like you go for something like with the actual vegetables not something that's like yeah that she sends back her food and then she gets on her phone and she orders uber eats i mean <laughs> i get what? it Sorry? like she's hungry i'm I, like i've eaten and she hasn't eaten but of all things she orders mcdonald's to the what <laughs> no she didn't Seriously? no McDonald's. she didn't you're making this up there's no way no and it's not like she brought it inside or anything as the uber eats car was like pulling up she was like in a rush to wrap up the date to go outside and get it and go home. Well, you know? I and I just felt like no, it was Adam, a weird no, situation. No, Adam, no. In her defense, nuggets taste bad when they're cold. They do. They do. <laughs> Devil's advocate. If she's really hungry, she might get really angry. And she probably mm. didn't want to end it. You know, no, you, you get no. no. Certain people. <laughs> They turn the corner on on hunger, and then and then it's like I can't think about anything but food, and until I eat, I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, there's a huge difference there. These girls are on their first date, Adam, and she brought McDonald's to the okay, restaurant. Right. Like that's messed up. That's messed <laughs> Just up. that phrase. Yeah. Is a- <laughs> that that is a bold move. That's but again, okay, so maybe it's maybe it's me being hopeless romantic. But at least she tried, right? Uh, I, I, really I mean, tried. like I tried. Um, you're on the phone. Oh, <laughs> vegan chicken fingers, and like, oh I my god, god. It's like just not for me. Every Every time. Like, I get it. But you know what? Like, we could have ordered you something else, you know? And it's like, you just didn't even want to give it a try. And then, not for nothing, dude, but like, McDonald's, any fast food is probably the worst thing you can ingest for your body. I, I'm food vegan, food. so obviously like, I'm conscious like, about what goes into my body. So, Oops. I just feel like we're on a different <laughs> level mentally as far as like, self-care and stuff like that. Oh. Like, I cannot bear to be with somebody 
who sits next to me eating freaking McDonald's. You don't even know what's what's in that meat. Catch my point, Ashley. Like, it's nothing personal against you. It, it's a mindset thing. I told you, know, you vegan lesbians weren't tips. Should we ask Why the second date question? Question? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, repeat that. What were you saying? No, I just, like, I did not want to offend you. That's the last thing I wanted to do. I just was trying to be respectful by not eating the meat in front of you. I get it, you know, and I appreciate that. I really do, you know, and I think you're really cool, really nice, but I just okay, I okay, think okay. it's so going to work. Here's why we do this. Here's a little fun th- thing. Since we've just started doing this feature, <laughs> we decided that it's maybe a little unfair to force people into a second date. We're not yeah. trying to do that, but we will offer to pay for your second yeah. date if the two of you, Ashley and Megan, would give this another shot. Just a heads up, though, we're only going to pay for the bill at the restaurant and not yeah, you not ordering Uber free. Eats <laughs> after. <laughs> so, obviously, because we made the phone call, Megan, you know Ashley <laughs> would love to go on a second date because she had a fun time with you. Our question to you is, if we're willing to pick up the tab, would you give it another go? Probably not, you guys. I really appreciate Ooh. it, though. <sighs> Okay. No offense, Ashley. You know, like, I'm sure you're going to make another woman very like, happy. you're being so closed-minded. Like, I thought... It's not closed-minded. Well, it's really like, like, it, dude. The phone is sticking it's, in your bubble. Like, well, at least we know what six months from now is going to like. <laughs> Guys, I like is, my bubble. That, yeah. you know, and I'm not the only one that lives in this kind of bubble. And you know what you need so. to do? Let's find a bubble that works for everybody. Yeah, and yeah. It, that's preferably I soundproof. I think I know what mine is going to be. I'm just going to stick with like people that like food that tastes good. Okay. Okay. okay, all right, all right. All right. Slick and mud. Okay, all right. So listen, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you both. Ashley, we hope you've gotten closure out of this. Megan, we wish you the best going forward. Thank you for listening to our station. Wow. I'm a little <laughs> concerned that you knew who we were as soon as we called. Yeah. <laughs> um, to the both of you, it clearly... Clearly isn't a fit, but we do wish you both the best. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, truth will set you free. Thank uh, you. Delete each yeah. other's numbers, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Don't fight.